So let's take a look at pre versus post fader metering. So during the recording stage, we were metering in pre fader. If I go to options, you'll see pre fader metering is checked. So the whole recording was done pre fader, which that means all of the meters over here in Pro Tools, you're seeing it pre whatever you do or before whatever you do to the volume. So if you're recording, you have a good level and then it's a little out of the mix so you turn it down on here, so you turn the volume down, the meter wouldn't change. It wouldn't follow that volume difference. But if you were in post fader metering, then whatever you do on the volume fader will be reflected on the meter. You don't want that during the recording stage because if you're recording, you have a good level and you turn the volume down on the fader inside your DAW, you'll think that your level is actually lower because you're post fader, you're actually affecting that meter that you're looking at. So you might be turning your preamp up too high and start clipping the signal and not know it because you're looking at the meter saying, well, it's not in the red, it doesn't, it's not clipping on my meter right here. So that's something you don't want. You don't want post fader. You want to be in pre fader for recording. But when it comes to mixing, you want to be in post fader because you're going to do these volume changes and you want to see how that is reflected on the meters as you mix your whole session. So make sure you go over here and turn off pre fader metering. So now you can see there's no check mark next to it and everything I do on my volume will be reflected on the fader. So here we go. What I'm feeling like is intertwined cross between confusion and I turn it down, the meter goes down. I turn it up. One direction and I sense it's bright. The meter goes up. In pre fader, it's the exact opposite. I can turn this all the way down what I'm feeling. and it's still going to come through at the normal level that it was at. All right, so make sure you're in post fader metering and then we'll jump into the next part of the mix.